Hi, you're welcome to Explore Insights. In this video, I would like to teach you on 15th complement subtraction. So this is my case too, where I'll be carrying out the subtraction of small number from large number, represented as L minus S, where L is the minor end and S is the super end. So if you're just joining this video for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like buttons. Now, without any further ado, please, let's get started. Now, we have basically three steps we need to understand before going with using the 15 complement sub subtraction process. So, let me talk about the step. The first step is to take the 15th complement of superhand, which is S. The second is whatever value we get from step one, being the first complement of superhand, we will add it to the minor end, which becomes our step two. Now, our step three is to check if carry is generated, then we add it to the result. Now, for you to better understand this, let's go with example one. Now, for this example one, we're going to subtract 784F from B504. Zero four, sorry. Now let's start with a solution, which is B five zero four minus eight seven eight four F. In this case, this becomes our supra end, and this becomes our minor end, which you can see. Now we'll start inculcating the steps. So the first one is to take fifteenth complement of supra end. Now while spreading the value. We are going to apply 15, 15, 15, 15 for each of the digits in order to get the 15th complement. So why we do that, we're going to say 15 minus F. Now this F is 15. It will give us 0. 15 minus 4, which is 11. But we have to put it in the hexadecimal form, which becomes B. 15 minus 8 becomes 7. And 15 minus 7 becomes 8. Now we move to the next step, which is step 2. In our step 2, we are asked to add whatever we get here, being the 15th complement to the minor end. So it means we are adding 87B0 with B504. So why we are going to add that? We are going to have a summation of the value you can see so we have 0 plus 4 to be 4 b plus 0 to be b 7 plus 5 to be 12 but in hexadecimal we are going to represent that as c and next we have 8 plus b remember b in this case is 11 so that's to say 8 plus 11 is 19 19 is greater than 16 so we are going to divide so 16 into 19 will be one remainder three. So we are going to write three and carry one. So we write this three and bring this one. So in this one, no other value. So we are putting one here. Now let me say something quickly before we move to step three so that you can quickly understand. So. In this case, you say if carry is generated, how do we know when carry exists? You're only going to count the number of digits in this case. So in this case, we have four digits, four digits, and five digits. So this tells us that there is a generation of carry. So having known that, let's move to step three. So I just told you how to identify when carry is generated. So we are moving over to step three which is to tell if to carry is generated, then add it to the result. Now, what are we trying to do? We're trying to bring this carry that was generated in step two and bring it to this value. Now, take note, we are removing this, but we are adding to this value 3CB4. So when we add, we're going to have four plus one will be five. There's no value here. It comes back to be BC3, respectively. So therefore, we're going to say that the answer for this in case 2, being the 15 complement subtraction for the given value, 
the answer is 3CB5. I'll be stopping here. Do well to watch my sister's complement subtraction. There, I'll be talking about case 1 and case 2. Thank you for watching. Do well to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new content. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.